What's up guys, Fast here, welcome to my channel. If you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and where you hang out in our awesome Steam group chat, which you should do by the way, there are quite a few of us that routinely hang out in there now, or you tune in for our rather quick live stream this past Saturday, you'll know I went infamous. Now, I wanted to just make a quick video explaining why I decided to go infamous, and then also give you some just additional thoughts on the entire in-game system. So I decided to go Infamous for two reasons. First was I felt like it would open some doors in terms of creating content for Payday 2. The, the game gets rather dry towards the end. There's only so many level 100 builds you can do. There's only so many uh, different ways you can do a particular mission. And I just felt like this would open up an opportunity for me to readdress some things, maybe a leveling guide here and there. Uh, maybe readdress how to to do some some of these missions more efficiently in terms of gaining XP and cash. So I felt that was kind of a, a good thing, a, a good opportunity. That's the first reason why I did it. And then the second reason was I, I think there's going to be a lot of stuff coming down from Overkill in terms of in-game playability. I think they're adding a bunch of in-game stuff. If you check your Steve achievements right now, by the way, there are some new ones that just came out hinting at a new DLC. But I, I think that there's going to be a strong push for more in-game related stuff. Different skill trees, revamped skill trees, higher tier skills, increased difficulty. I think all of this stuff will eventually come down. And I don't want to have to worry about becoming infamous later on. What I mean by that, if they do increase skill points, increase difficulty, higher tier skills... All of this infamous stuff is going to simply allow us to be more efficient with our builds. We're going to be able to unlock higher tier skills faster. We're going to be able to progress through trees faster. Who knows what they're going to implement for tier 2 infamy skills. How that's going to relate to how we can handle some of the higher difficulty missions. Or perhaps uh, an increase in difficulty settings. Maybe they're going to bring in a new mode. I don't know, but I have a feeling that they're going to bring in a ton of new in-game stuff, and I wanted to be proactive about it. I don't want to, uh, let's say it comes out in two months. Let's say, just hypothetically, all of this new in-game stuff comes out in two months. Different skill trees, higher tier skills, increased difficulty settings. I don't want to get to a point in two months from now and say, man, I should have been working on all this infamy stuff because I could do some really cool stuff with it. I wanted to be more proactive and just do it, right? I plan up Payday 2 as it is. Why not just go ahead and re-level? It's really not that big of a deal. You can survive with a level 50 build on pretty much any mission overkill. Uh, sometimes it's even nice to have a, a, you know, a challenge. Maybe it's, you know, what, what, what I've liked about it so far is it kind of makes you appreciate some of the higher tier skills or some of the more complete builds. It's kind of fun to experiment with just a one tree level 50 build. It's different, right? I don't know. But those are the two main reasons why I did it. And just some thoughts on the mode. So I am infamous rank 2 dash 91 or so. And the first level of infamy took me about 20 hours. Now you could do it rather fast or faster than that. If you're working together, if you're focused, if you're not taking breaks, if you're going to grind really hard, you could probably do it in 12 to 15 hours. Now, there is a guy on the Steam forums claiming to be the first legit rank 5-100 infamous player, and his Steam achievements are about 12 hours apart. By the way, if you are confused as to whether or not somebody has hacked their infamous level, one easy way to check is to go to their Steam achievements see what time they unlock each level and if they're within oh I would say if they're under 10 hours apart that's obvious hacks but yeah it, it the, the first level is rather it was a grind and the problem I'm coming across now is it's not all about XP it's about two things it's about XP and offshore cash offshore cash is the more difficult of the two requirements to farm it takes longer and that's that's just my biggest my biggest gripe about this mode so far is it's one thing to, to make players grind for xp i get that right but it's a pain in the ass when you add on offshore money it, it's a total pain 
because it eliminates your ability to really purchase contracts because you're not going to be that profitable in doing so. You really have to join on other lobbies, play with a lot of randoms, um, wait for contracts on CrimeNet offline. It's just a really big pain. And the XP, you get a 5% XP bonus with each level of infamy, but it's kind of null and void when you have to come up with $200 million offshore. The only people that are benefiting from the XP boost per infamy level are those that saved all of their offshore money. Those that didn't uh, buy contracts or never really bought contracts, didn't gamble any of their, their money away in the offshore casino. Uh, those are the ones that are benefiting from the XP bonus or XP boost. People like myself that like to buy contracts that have spent quite a bit of offshore money those XP boosts are really meaningless because we're going to hit level 100, but it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, granted, we have a level 100 build rather fast or faster than we would have otherwise, but we're still, you know, way short on offshore money. That is where I've been struggling. Uh, so that's why I've kind of switched to doing Firestarter rather than Rats. I will definitely do Rats if you get all the bags at the end. You'll get about 3 million offshore, but Firestarter, in terms of farming offshore money, is pretty good. So that's what I've been doing. I will do a leveling guide of sorts in the near future. But that's it for this one, guys. I just wanted to explain why I win Infamous and then also ask you guys what your plans are. If you guys change your mind, you going to do that? I mean, if you are going to go Infamous, what, what rank are you going to stop at? Are you going to go all the way to five? Let me know. Other than that, guys, I hope everybody has a great week. Thanks for tuning in. Kyoka.